Hey disgruntled, this video is going to be how I became an Eagles fan. Now, my story is kind of short because basically I was born into it. I was had no other choice rather to rather than being an Eagles fan. Now, you're probably thinking that at any point in my life I could have switched to any teams, but I'm going to leave a description in below to why I'm an Eagles fan, which basically tells you why I stayed being an Eagles fan all this time. Now, I'm going to send you over to my grandpa, which has a more interesting story, which basically made my entire 25 plus family members be coming an Eagles fan. So I'm going to send you over to him and thanks for watching. So all this, being the Eagles the closest to us in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. and we watched football, we were rooting for the Eagles. And I was about uh, 11 or 12 years old when I started really getting into it. Uh, so that's how that's how it started. And then from that day on, I was sweating it out after what, how, 52 years I had to wait before they got to won something again. Mm -hmm. So that was it. Why are you still an Eagles fan today? Well, I'm very loyal. But once an Eagle fan, always an Eagle fan. Once a Dodger fan, always a Dodger fan, mm -hmm. even though they moved to Los Angeles. So after 52 years of uh, waiting, waiting, waiting for another victory, they finally got it. <laughs> and I was surprised, really, mm -hmm. really, really surprised. What did you think of the Super Bowl run? Fantastic. I did never believe they could make it. They won too many close games. In the old days, they lost the close games and mm -hmm. therefore never won the Super Bowl. This year, they won the close games and they won the football. Mm -hmm. They won the Super Bowl. So that's the difference. Do you remember the 2004 Super Bowl? McNabb, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and that was so sad. Poor McNabb, I felt so sorry for him and the Eagles. They're going down the field, ready to go. I think I, they intercepted him, I think, or something. the ball game was over. I almost cried, but I didn't. When McNabb lost that thing, I said, oh boy. When they first got in the game, he was really good. Well, he was good, even though yeah. they lost the Super Bowl. This is going to happen. If they can win 80% of the close games, mm -hmm. they'll get into the Super Bowl. Who do you think that it's going to be the Super Bowl? That, I don't know. Like the Eagles, I know. Mm -hmm. I have the slightest idea. There's so many of them that could be in the Super Bowl. The yeah. England Patriots are always there, and everybody seems to be doing great. But if they could do that, if they can win, most of their, 80% of their close games, I mean close games, 10, 10 points or less. They can win 80% of those, they can be in the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. What do you think their record's going to be? They could be 10 and 6, yeah. they could be 6 and 10, I don't yeah. think they'll be 6 and 10. Yeah. But uh, 10 and 6 is probably good. Yeah. They, if they can do that, that's still pretty good, I think. Do you remember the first miracle at the Meadowlands? Like it. Oh, that was oh, that was spectacular. Oh, I love that game. <laughs> I love that game with a passion. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, that's one of the close yeah. games you win. Oh my God, that was all right. Poor Giants, I felt sorry. Not really, I didn't mm -hmm. feel sorry for them. God love them. They certainly make it exciting, though, I must mm -hmm. admit. Love the Eagles. Bye, this crunch. And thanks for watching.